Star Wars Outlaws dropped their story trailer a couple of days ago, and I enjoyed it. It's simple. It looks fun. Story is a story that we know. It's it's not that uh, insane. It is one last mission, and then I'm done with this. Uh, of course, that's not the last mission. That's not what's going to happen in the game, uh, or else we're not going to have a story for the game if it's just like that one last mission, right? <laughs> So yeah, I'm 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 looking forward to that. It looks really fun. I was already kind of uh, well, I'm kind of excited after the gameplay reveal that we got like nine to ten months ago, something like that. Look really fun. I like the gameplay. I like how it looked. The worlds look really fun. It looks really nice. And I think this game, I'm not gonna say I'm like hyped hyped for it, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited for it. I um. I really enjoyed Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. I played through the game like multiple times. That's how much I enjoyed it. It was really linear, so I'm hoping this will bring a good like experience, but a little bit less linear with more openness in the worlds to explore and more things to happen in that world. Um, like we know Ubisoft likes to do that stuff, make really open worlds. I, I hope that this is just a world that... Um, is not as barren as uh, ooh, a, a Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, like, there was a big world, but other times there was not a lot to do in that world, though. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I hope they're gonna make it just a little bit smaller, make it a little bit more lived in, make it a little bit more interesting, and go about that. So, yeah, I haven't played Jedi Survivor yet. I didn't because there was a lot of like it was it was a buggy mess at the beginning so i didn't even care for it uh i still want to play it though still want to see it but star wars outlaws looks fun i think it's going to be a fun game but oh my there has been a lot of negativity surrounding it already the what is it the the like to dislike ratio on the video is already jesus <laughs> like 34k likes against 119k dislikes which is and I am agreeing with some of the negativity surrounding the game, not the game itself, but surrounding it. A lot of it is also stupid and bullshit, uh, in my opinion. But it's kind of weird to see that this trailer got so many dislikes against the gameplay walkthrough that we got like nine-ish months ago, which had, I have it in front of me right now, 116k likes against 16k dislikes, so um still the same game <laughs> it's still the same game but damn the, the dislikes have been given and for the couple of things that i don't understand it's it, like the really stupid thing to me is like cave fest not being an attractive character like who the fuck cares about that come on that's just ridiculous to, to have that as uh something that you dislike about the game it's a character in the game come on like i there's more discourse surrounding that i know um but yeah I, I could probably name a lot of characters also male characters that are not beautiful right and nobody gave a fuck about it back then as well so why should we now it's just a character there's nothing wrong with it the one thing that i might think about it not being a quote-unquote beautiful character is that i do think the facial animations and stuff that we've seen in the videos are are a bit on the stiff side like not bad still but a bit on like the the stiffer side if you compare it to some other games um that have like um I, I think like not even the games that's out yet but the marvel 19 something something game that they released a tech demo for uh for a couple of weeks ago and how they um did the facial animations in that one that looks amazing like it really looks good it like it looks really uncanny as well though but it does really look good if you compare it to that yeah this is really stiff but in comparison to like being a decent decent animation and everything it just looks good to me like nothing much wrong with it the one thing that i somewhat agree with because i've seen a couple of videos already and i think the video that i've seen <laughs> that i agree with is eckhart's letter video uh that he posted on the day that i'm recording this or the day before though like that's nine nine hours ago already holy jesus but i i i do kind of agree with that though um but a lot of other people are just it it's just like i need clicks i need views so uh let's talk the the baddest shit about everything and then it should be good but 
if we are like truly looking at like no misinformation no shit the pricing of this game is kind of ridiculous though it gives ubisoft vibes price wise but addition wise this has not been anything new for anybody and people are complaining about that as well and i think that is stupid because so many games have had like standard editions uh well let's call them gold and ultimate edition but like the deluxe editions and and how you would call all the editions that people give names to the games it is it it's been there for a long time also price differences has been there for a long time i do think that the, there's an insane price difference in this right now I, i'm just like if i'll show you i have the uk uh, side in front of me because i am dutch and i only get the dutch stuff so you won't understand that <laughs> i don't i don't see no thing to change the language on the site so i went to the uk side and i was like okay let's look at it i will give you the euro price i have i have those over here so like the normal edition is 69.99 and then the gold one is 109.99 and uh ultimate is 129.99 which is it is going from like 70 to 110 for what you get is holy 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 <laughs> that's, that's kind of what i can say it's insane it's stupid it's really it really is dumb though like the pre-order bonus it, it, this is just cosmetics like if you care about cosmetics i guess right I, I don't really do that like usually you use it for a bit and then just switch to something new or something cooler that you get in game or whatsoever i'd like i i don't think i've had any game where i was like i need this cosmetic or else i I want to enjoy the game though i kind of don't understand that season pass i have no problem with season pass it's not a battle pass i've heard that's been thrown around as well battle pass is like totally different there could be battle pass things in the season pass like we don't know yet but i want to throw like a lot of shade at ubisoft for this but it is something ubisoft would do right but then if you go into it it's again a cosmetic and i think this this is the most ridiculous thing though the java's gambit exclusive mission available at launch this is a mission that's already in the game it's already done this should not have been behind a season pass or a paywall this should have been standard edition and that's it though that's it i think that's the most uh, after pricing being ridiculous that's the most ridiculous thing in this entire stuff it's like why put a fully um done mission behind this paywall but also let's not forget that ubisoft is not alone in this like the other game that i really love which i enjoyed the shit out of is hogwarts legacy and i played it on xbox so you already know up until like the new update the summer updates coming the 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 shopkeeper mission i think was called was exclusive to playstation i think that's also just ridiculous though just don't I've, I've i like i've always hated that stuff and i've hated it back in the days because i think if i remember correctly and i don't have like a really good memory but i, I think like call of duty did that with xbox like wow having exclusive stuff to xbox not to playstation if i'm wrong though let me know i think that was that was call of duty with that stuff or like earlier access and stuff like that i just i, I don't like that give us the game as it is right now or as it is at launch and then like having a season pass at launch is not a weird thing but why does it have to be with content that's already in the game that's the stupid thing for me the other thing people are complaining about and this is something i also that's this, this is in the same category as oh kvs is not a beautiful character is the three-day early access i know you have fomo and they play on the fomo and everything but please you don't need a three-day early access you don't need it don't buy the gold edition for the three-day early access for the season pass maybe if you think that's actually you know it's if it's going to be good like you don't know I, i'm looking forward to the game i think it's going to be a fun game i don't know if it's going to be a good game i think it's going to be a star wars ubisoft style game and personally i don't really mind that because yeah i i've always like i've always loved assassin's creed I think Wahala is not the good of like that good of an Assassin's Creed, but I also thought fucking Assassin's Creed 3 was a terrible Assassin's Creed. I might have to replay that to see if that still is the case for me. But you know, uh, there's always games in there that I don't like, but I've always liked Assassin's Creed and other games that they brought out like Far, Far Cry and stuff like that. So them taking uh, a chance with with Star Wars, I hope it is not too much Ubisoft, but there's probably definitely going to be like points of interest in there and. And how oh, go to this point to uh, unlock this area or discover this area or map this area out. That's 
that's like standard ubisoft shit that's probably going to be in the game so i'm i'm already have that in mind that it's going to be ubisoft ties yeah i guess that's like ubisoft ties that's going to be the game um but as long as it's like really fun it's a little it's like it's open i can just roam around it, there's enough to do story is fun gameplay is good i'm happy with it because in my opinion it's it's oh it's really possible don't don't get me wrong but it, it like it also seems that it, it it must be kind of hard to fuck up a star wars game i'm kind of curious about that but also it's like the three-day early access like even people that say i'm a content creator i need that three-day early access for streaming or, or whatsoever no you don't no you don't it's it's a fucking choice it's always a choice though and then you go to the ultimate edition and then again you get like more cosmetics you get more cosmetics and then you get a digital art book i don't i personally don't understand why you would go for a digital art book and not like a physical one if they have one but like the digital art book is like it's such a no-go for me yeah and then and then you get into uh over in the netherlands it is 18 euros a month instead of like uh, 15 quid uh, you get everything that you get with the ultimate edition for 18 euros a month i would say like I, i'm not one to say do this with your money or whatsoever but if, if you think like the pricing is as ridiculous as i think it is and agree with a lot of people about the pricing then i would say go for the standard edition you might be cheaper if you like the game and you want the season pass to go with the gold edition i would just say go with standard edition and if you don't even want to try that you you can within a month right you have if you go for like the the ubisoft plus you have a month to play the game if you are somebody that doesn't really replay games i don't really replay games though i like i've jedi fallen order i played through it like three times two or three times uh and it was really fun and i might do it again in the future but like i usually don't go through games multiple times so i could even go for like a month of this and then play the game and if i really like it right if i go for that I, like i don't mind you get all the extra stuff for like 15 quid or like 18 euro if you really like the game after that right and you want to play through it again you can probably just buy it for like 30 30 euros two months after because it's a ubisoft game like these games are just gonna get discounted really fast anyway and you're not gonna play through like usually a second playthrough within a month maybe even two or three months it may might it might take you like uh six months up to a year to be like i kind of missed that game i really had fun with it let's let's replay it and then you won't maybe have the ubisoft plus but then you got like uh let's just buy it on on discount uh it, it might even like it's not on steam as well it's like it's it's the you play ubisoft how do you call that though it's like the you play stuff so it's going to be on there and it's probably going to be on a discount you're probably going to get it cheap maybe even in between after six months they're going to be like ah you know let's do a 50 percent discount on it and then you can pick it up do that that's probably what i'm gonna do I'm, i might get it or this well not 60 70 for me because it's euros and the prices have gone up for that or i'll just pick up the the ubisoft plus for a month and play it like that because at the end of it at the end like at the end of it right the pricing is something that really rubs me the wrong way because it's it's not like you go from 60 to like 80 to like 100 it is you go from 60 to 110 to 130 and you barely get anything with it like from a time where if you bought an ultimate edition you would get the game physically you would get like art books you would get the statue you would get a map or you would get whatever with the game and you pay like maybe a 120 for it i remember what was it call of duty 2 you get the uh, night fishing goggles or uh, uh, black ops i thought uh you got the rcxd and other games uh like you always got like cool stuff uh halo with uh was that a, a, a some edition that you got like the ha master chief helmet i think it was like halo 3 i'm not sure but i can reminisce and be nostalgic about it but that's never going to happen anymore i do think that one game that's the last thing i'll say that i do think there is one game which did that and that was Baldur's gate 3 i'm not sure but i think they had like a physical I'm, I'm gonna look it up yeah 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 yeah. but i'll do it to the top you know it's Baldur's gate but you actually got something with it 
you got stickers you got you got a mind player poster you got the deluxe edition box which looks really awesome you got a world map oh you got a world map that's really cool i, I didn't see that though y yeah you get like two patches which are really cool and then you get the original soundtrack on this is it cool i oh, please man larry and studio i love you guys really good i don't know why this got me so worked up but it just triggered me because a lot of well enough videos and 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 stuff on on x was going around with just stupid takes and also misinformation about stuff and yes i don't agree with a lot but i agree with some pricing and shit like that it's it's i understand it's becoming way more expensive everything but it's just getting to a point where especially ubisoft is is going into a direction which i'm like nah that's not the way understand games are getting more expensive but maybe this is not the way to I'm, I'm curious about what you think about this entire situation are you just mad about the pricing or is there something else which you really are disliking about sour's outlaws right now or is it mainly just pricing which is a thing and and the withholding of the the mission that's as we see already done because you get it at launch date as well leave that in the comment section I, I would love to get a like in this video subscribe to the channel if you if you if you like this video this is something different than what i usually did do want to do um yeah would appreciate everything hopefully see you in the next video Bye bye